Hey all, this is Zach Lovett with another script for After Effects called Ash, After Effects Syntax Highlighter. Ash is pretty much explicitly aimed at FUI or fantasy user interface artists, those who make flashy access denied screens for film and TV shows. Ash will take your text layer of real code and highlight it to look like it was written in a real programming environment. Let's look at the interface. There's a language selector to choose your programming language. There's a theme dropdown to specify what color theme you want to apply. There are save and delete buttons for custom themes. There's a theme preview so you can know what your theme is going to look like. There's a button to highlight your text, one to clear it, and options where you can customize language and a few other things. With highlight, it will highlight any selected text layers using the above language and theme. You can try to auto-detect the language, though sometimes Ash needs you to tell it what programming language you're using. When you click Highlight, you may see a warning that your layer is heavy. Click through this, then Ash will process your text and highlight. Once done, your text layer will now be colored. Now, Ash has added an effect where you can customize the color of the different tokens it's found, with base referring to any text that isn't highlighted. You can just change these colors, and anything that matches that token will update like anything else in After Effects. The background token isn't hooked up to anything. It's here for you to use in your own designs. For example, you can easily link a fill color to this background. So as you change this color, your background will also update. Not all of these tokens will be present in every code block. And if you expand the text property of your layer, you can enable or disable use of specific tokens. Now, because Ash is based on text animators, this means you can stack any of your own text animators afterwards and Ash will behave just like a normal text layer. Adding typewriter, when we play this through, our layer is now typing on. Let's look at the themes. Ash comes with five stock themes based on common programming environment colors though you can add your own to the list. Let's make a new theme now. I'm just going to switch these colors around really quickly. And with this text there selected, I can hit the plus button to save this new theme as tutorial. And now it's in my dropdown and you can see it in the preview as well. All of these themes are saved inside of the Ash themes folder in your script UI panels. You can add or delete things here as you'd like, and you can even copy in nested folders containing their own themes, and they'll also appear in Ash. In this way, you can group up your themes by specific show or project and add or remove them as you'd like. Let me just reopen Ash. And now you can see Atom 1 and Red are there as we'd expect. Now, I've decided I don't like this Ash tutorial theme, so I'm just going to press the minus button here. We'll be prompted to delete it. We'll hit yes. And now it's gone from the dropdown and gone from the folder as well. Now, by default, we suggest six common programming languages to use as well as auto detect. So if you open up options, you can customize this list from nearly 300 different programming languages that our engine supports. In this interface, you can add, remove, or reorder programming languages however you'd like to. If you press the central X, It'll reset back to the defaults, and we're good to go. In the second options tab, you can control at what point the heavy alert pops up, as well as whether to enable logging. We recommend turning logging on if you're running into any issues, as it will help us with technical support. Last but not least, when you click clear, Ash will remove the color controller as well as all of the Ash selectors. Note that any non-Ash related animators will still be present, so you still have your same typewriter animation. That's it for Ash. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think.